Hello people, can you see me? Can you hear me in the chat, please? In the chat. Can you see me? Let's get started. In the chat, please. I wanna know. Perfect. Awesome. So, how excited are you for this thing? How excited are you for this thing? Okay, okay, okay. Let's. Okay, uh, Mansi says not getting voice. Mm -hmm. Is it with the same? Is it same with the everyone? With everyone? Uh, can you? Are you not able to get the voice? Let's see. Are you not able to get the voice? Uh, okay. Perfect. Everything is fine. Uh, so people who are not able to listen to me, please check your systems and then uh, we will let's let's get started. Shall we? Uh, before we get started, uh, firstly, thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, making it so, uh, you know, uh, it, it, we made you uh, uh, go through a tough, you know, kind of a roller, roller coaster ride because uh, we asked you to register and then do this, then do that, all those things. But still, you awesome people were doing each and everything and uh, you are here with us today. Awesome. So I'm really, really happy for all of you being here uh we already see some uh 35 people have joined uh which is really great for the first time and uh without further ado let's shall we get started all right let's let's get 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 going perfect So, uh, let me set up the screen here and also this one. Give me one minute guys, I am setting up things for you and uh, firstly welcome everyone, uh, welcome to everyone for the Bell Coyote Bootcamp, uh, you know, thanks a lot everyone for being here, it's, it was hell of a, to a ro roller coaster ride to you know start off, big 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 shout out to all my teammates, uh, let me name each and everyone. Uh, Big shout out to Sumit, shout out to Akash, Sridhar, and uh, we have uh, Rajesh, we have uh, Mukesh, and uh, whom am I missing? Gokul. Did I miss anyone, team? Really sorry if I missed. Uh, but big shout out to all these people because they were constantly, you know, literally calling 200 people. Who have registered and telling them the taking him through the process uh, of registration and all these things it's it was a tedious task but everyone did it very well and uh, i'm very grateful to all my teammates for making this possible so let's make sure that all this uh, hard uh, work that they have put in does not go in vain uh, and let's get started all right so <clears throat> the belk iot bootcamp what is it uh, what what are we going to do can you please tell us can you please tell us uh, what is your plan okay finally the day is here and i am going to tell you all about it right so the day one okay 
uh but before we go into the the, the technical aspects see today for the, all those people who were worrying about equipment and all those things uh please do not worry uh it's perfectly all, uh, all right today is where you know we'll touch upon the fundamentals of the whole thing uh we will touch upon the the various aspects of the whole thing uh you know what iot is uh you know what what are the f- we will also mainly go through few frameworks with which you will be able to you know uh, uh identify the whole uh, game of iot and then you know you'll be put together you'll be able to put together the different blocks of iot and you'll be clearly able to see the whole thing all right so that's the whole plan all right so let's get started what is this boot camp about okay uh this boot camp uh mainly i've started uh to to see i've been, i've started uh with my podcast the the whole bell coyote journey i started with my podcast uh where i wanted to i, I the reason for starting the whole bell coyote initiative was you know to make sure that people uh, i i saw really i really saw that gap even when i was back a student i wanted to be iot engineer or robotics engineer and all this stuff uh we didn't have a platform although we had great uh, youtube channels like andre space and all these people uh, who were putting out a lot of content from electronic standpoint and all these things a lot of people still think iot means just the electronics part i uh, few people think iot means just the you know uh, the cloud part and all these things but no it's it's amalgamation of all these things so uh that gap was always there about you know what exactly iot is what exactly the essence is and that's where i thought uh i should be uh starting out to also uh, uh, to uh, people were uh, really not able to understand what's exactly happening in the industry because we see you know we use these devices we use uh, we, we play around with these devices and everything is fine but uh, you know eventually we will not we are we were not able to understand what's exactly happening in the industry in in the industry and uh, what's what are people doing so i thought let me place myself in a place there in, uh, where i can help these people because i have been uh, through this journey i started as uh, a student you know trying out diy stuff and then I ventured out into uh, multiple things and then now i am working as iot engineer for mnc and you know i have seen the whole journey so i thought let me start sharing this journey and also my network in this uh, in this area like the amount of people i know in this area uh, also have a lot of knowledge so i thought i should bring this knowledge to each and every one of you and that's where i started this so hope this helps a lot and lot more people like you who have joined today uh, it 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 has been a great journey and uh, uh, you know i i wish this journey goes a long way okay so what is this boot camp about it's majorly you know first thing is about opportunities you know there are humongous amount of opportunities that will be coming up in iot you will understand by this end of the session why i am saying this okay there are humongous amount of opportunities uh, which which uh, uh, will come up soon so when you have opportunity the next very thing is you know uh, uh jobs like say if you have uh, want to talk about jobs uh, you need skill set if you want to uh, have your own venture uh, startup even then you need humongous amount of skill set not only the technical aspects but the other aspects also and that's where uh, the second point is about you know uh, bridging the skill gap that we have uh, between between the the, the industries and this uh, students uh you know also bringing together all the different uh, uh you know people from different walks so that we can basically insist uh basically uh insist on the fact that you know it is iot is no more you know a uh, uh, engineering thing or uh, uh you know people who are from this particular domain can work on this or you know anything all those uh, uh myths that are out there i want to burst those myths and help everyone anyone like we we have in our community we have people from law background we have people from you know a uh, medical background you know that's huge i mean uh, that clearly shows how enthusiastic people are to learn about different things and you know get into get uh, themselves into different things so that's how things are that's why i thought you know definitely there is a skill gap also which we have to fill up and only then you know people will able will be able to meet and you know work on things 
the other beautiful aspect is to build iot community i haven't seen uh there are few but uh not much active or you know there are a few, few things but i wanted to build a community where people start sharing knowledge sharing uh, things together all those aspects of community uh specific around the uh, niche of iot uh, should be there and that's where i've started this and uh, this is also a part of my bigger plan where you know i want uh, i want to uh, the, the this boot camp specifically uh, i want to you know place people into uh, jobs i want to see uh, people who have been part of this uh, you know uh, boot camp have their own startups and they uh, you know uh, evolve out uh, you know into a big mnc and all this stuff so i have this crazy dream let's see how long it goes but uh definitely one thing for sure is that you know only when people like you contribute to this uh and that's where uh that's when it will happen and thanks a lot for again for uh you know i just i'm just overwhelmed uh about the uh, the things that have been that have been having happening in the past and now we are here okay now why should you listen to me you know who am i uh, uh you know why am i teaching you uh, these things and why am i here so my name is Sai Prakash Belkiri and uh, I am an IoT engineer by profession. Uh, so I've worked on a lot of projects, uh, you know, from DIY level to the industrial uh, level where we have connected the whole factories to uh, internet and we have done a lot of amazing work. Uh, I have done a lot of amazing work uh, with the support of all the companies I've been working through. And uh, also I have a podcast where you know, I'm the first Indian IoT podcaster where uh, we have started a podcast where we bring in experts in this IoT domain to share their knowledge, what's happening in the industry, what's happening in the different communities and all those stuff. So you can go listen out to that later, not now. And the most fundamental thing, you can see, you know, how passionate I am with this aspect. And that's where I've, uh, you should listen to me, maybe. Uh, if you if if you feel these things are uh, enough to qualify myself to you know uh, share my knowledge here then please do listen to me what are the prerequisites to be a uh, to be a part of this boot camp uh, there are no prerequisites basically the only thing uh, we need will be a lot of patience because uh, you know this subject is huge uh, don't get overwhelmed but uh, this subject is a little huge and uh, you know a lot of varied things come under this thing and you have to be a constant learner. Uh, you have to be with that learner mindset to, you know, to be able to be a part of this boot camp. You have to constantly ask questions. Why this way? Why not this way? Uh, how can we do this uh, the other way? You know, what exactly happens within that and all such things. If, if, if you keep asking only then uh, you'll be able to, uh, you know, really shine throughout this. And obviously the hunger to keep knowing more and more all right what will you learn by the end of this uh, boot camp the way the way we have uh, you know uh, designed this boot camp is not only to teach you iot uh, or to work on iot projects but also to get you the business aspect of it to get you the you know uh, the the product building aspect of it to to teach you the uh, you know uh, collaboration aspect of it to teach you how team uh, work can, uh, teams can work together and uh, uh, you know get into you'll get the whole essence of uh, uh, being into a startup uh, once you you know uh, once thing uh, things start falling into place you'll see that thing happening okay so and also the un to understand the fundamentals very right because uh, you know uh, this fundamentals is where you know people often tend to skip and then uh, go into the uh, uh, DIY space directly and uh, they often fumble around to understand the whole uh, thing, the whole space uh, for that matter. Okay. Uh, also to build your own prototypes, your, to build your own IoT prototypes to, un uh, to be able to, you know, uh, uh, work on a project, whatever idea you have, we will uh, give you assignment by the end of this uh, today's uh, day one. Uh, and you will have to, you know, I'll tell you what it is, but uh, basically uh, that's where you will be coming up with your unique idea. So let's say we have, how many people are we by now, by the way? 
all right 60 people great so 60 people 60 different unique ideas uh, uh and you know we have more in the community who might watch it later recording so those many unique ideas we'll be working on uh probably all of them if not a uh, few if not you know let's see how it turns out but most of the projects will be worked out and also by the end of this also to you know to, to get the hands-on uh, thing we will be working on a smart home project where you will be able to you know connect your uh, light your fan or anything for that matter uh, to a light bulb uh, to a to your google assistant uh, or any virtual assistant for that matter and you'll be able to connect uh, uh, you know w operate them with that let's say you say okay google turn on my light it will turn on i i really hope my google is not listening to me because it keeps happening whenever see we i say oh, okay google it there you go it it just oh god fine it just said uh, i don't know if you heard it but it just said uh, your internet is turned off all right uh so let's break down this uh what we'll be learning <clears throat> So we will be. This will be a five-day boot camp. If not, uh, it might be extended by by one more day. By the way, uh, are you able to see me? Oh, Jeff is here. Jeff is here. Hello, Jeff. Thanks a lot for joining. Jeff is a good, good friend of mine. Uh, you know, a very. Uh, by the way, Jeff is also uh, my happens to be my first podcast. Uh, guest and uh, he helped me a lot lot in this way by the way uh, those who do, do not know jeff jeff is an iot architect he has worked on a lot of iot projects soon he will uh, see him as part of our community and uh, you know it will be a, it will be a uh, real fun thanks for being here jeff <coughs> all right so here are the five days uh, this is a five day boot camp that uh, we we'll have today we'll get our fundamentals right we'll talk about a lot of interesting things second day uh, from day or day two and day, day three we'll uh, understand the uh, you know the basic part the the fundamental part you'll you'll see this what is perception layer you'll understand it today by the end of this session and uh, uh, day two and day three is that and day four uh, is when we'll start working on the our aim which is uh, building a smart home project and day five is where We'll continue to work on that project, and uh, finally, we'll also talk about, you know, uh, you have built a, uh, we'll build a prototype, but how do you take that prototype and make a, uh, you know, market ready uh, thing? So tomorrow, you see any product, you'll be able to analyze how it is working internally and all those things. Okay, so these are the requirements for uh, the the, uh, for these are the equipment that you have to procure for this boot camp. A lot of things uh, due to lockdown may, might not be able to, a lot of people were not able to procure this. But don't worry, try to get it at the latest by 30th May. If not, uh, you know, two days here and there, that should be fine, you know, because this is a recorded session, you can watch it later and try out. And uh, those who will be part of our community uh, will get support, however. Okay, so these are the equipment that you will need to procure. Okay. Uh, yes, so the journey so far, uh, we started with Instagram, I started putting out some content, uh, my podcast, and then I shared that I'm starting with this bootcamp. And then a lot of people have registered through my Instagram, uh, use the link in, in the Instagram bio, and then they have come here. And, uh, you know, they, they, they had gone through a tough ride because, you know, we made through, we, we, we made sure we have enough hurdles so that only interested people can uh, you know uh, go through this and uh, be uh, come uh, so far so that's what we planned and uh, it's it's a huge response that we got and i'm really uh, you know uh, privileged to get such a, a huge response so then we uh, moved, uh, moved it out to uh, discord where you know all of the people who got emails uh, I see a lot of people who haven't still ch registered but haven't checked their emails. Maybe you should go and check out your emails. You can search with my name, Sai Prakash Velkiri, and you'll be able to find an email and follow the instructions in that email. 
and then you'll be able to be a part of our community which is our you know discord community where we are talking about a lot of interesting stuff and fun stuff you know uh, i uh, for those who are uh, you know not uh, who, who haven't registered because we closed down the register registrations because we couldn't handle the amount of registrations that were coming in uh, we will soon o- open it up again uh, the, the pattern might change some uh, uh, after some time but we will soon open it up and uh, you'll be able to have a lot of fun okay having said that all this thing was fun uh, be and uh, most importantly those who are already part of the community uh, uh, you know please do be ve- be very active on the community because uh, a lot of fun stuff is going to come we'll have fun sessions we'll have uh, you know uh, some hangout sessions we'll also have technical sessions we'll have doubt clearing sessions and a uh, lot of things so be a part of that and also who will be you know we'll be evaluating my, uh, my team uh, my team is constantly looking at who is much active and all these things we'll have special giveaways later and all this stuff we'll announce uh, about them uh, very soon one important important uh, you know uh, announcement before i start the technical aspect is everybody keep looking at the announcement section that's where we do a lot of announcements announcements channel on our discord uh, server second thing is be uh, you know uh, this every wednesday from here on every wednesday we will have another session only for the community people where we will help them you know uh, uh, answer their doubts uh, we will help them you know so if they have any queries and all this section uh, you know from like every sunday we will have uh, this uh, boot camp uh, session where i'll uh, teach few things and if you have any doubts and all those things uh, we can ask uh, uh, you can ask them on wednesday and also but but still the community will be open there are few uh, technical channels where we have will soon have mentors a uh, few mentors who will be answering your questions so you can tag at the rate mentor and uh, you will be able to uh, get your answers so having said that let's get started are you excited in the chat please in the chat are you excited uh, maybe there is there will be some lag boom i see the chat great i'll have a sip of water and then we'll start all right hmm so exciting thing all right uh, for those who are sending in questions in the chat moderators please answer them uh, we have moderators from our team and they will be able to answer your questions okay all right so let's get started hmm damn where is this yep all this the obs and all this stuff are really new to me <laughs> I had to learn all these things for this stream uh, you know really going well i'm learning a lot of things as i'm teaching all right internet of things what is it okay i'll let me open my chat on side internet of things what is it exactly okay that's what you are here to learn uh, you 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 might be saying what are you asking that's we don't know that's why we are here okay fine definitely fine uh, i'll make sure <laughs> i'll make sure you know the, you you understand it very well internet of things so if you if the the, the term itself is very self explanatory but emphasize on the word things here okay what are the things that we have in our you know around our surroundings uh, what are the things that we uh, see day in and out what are the things that uh, uh, you know we perceive okay every damn thing around you is a thing okay that that sounds a you know obvious statement but you know everything literally everything around you is a thing okay but also there are few other things like say air 
uh, temperature which you cannot perceive but still it is uh, not temperature exactly but the heat okay so all these things which you cannot perceive but also are considered things in the context of internet of things okay so having said that uh what are we why are we considering these things all these days if you look at internet we were connecting these laptops mobile phones uh a few other uh, devices only to the internet but now with the internet of things we are essentially enabling every damn thing around us to be connected to internet okay you might have watched my promo video where i said you know uh just imagine if we can connect a mobile phone or laptop to internet we are creating such a huge ecosystem just imagine all the facebook twitter instagram this youtube uh, you know the streaming uh, and all these things we were able to connect only with this few devices you know one category of devices just imagine you connect every damn thing this water bottle this mic this light everything to internet how huge of an ecosystem that would be just you know take a second i'll pause here for 30 seconds just close your eyes and imagine how huge that can drive if you are not able to imagine i'll help you okay but what are the things okay just take any example you know uh, it can be a light bulb it can be a say water bottle it can be a wallet it can be a aeroplane okay aeroplane also uh, can be a thing in our in the context of inter in the context of internet of things how i mean you can basically connect a whole aeroplane to internet and you can be you will be able to access the uh, aeroplane maybe some there there will be a day where we will have no pilots and uh, uh, we will sit in our bedroom and access the whole aeroplane now where is that aeroplane how is that doing we can ho basically navigate the whole aeroplane right yeah someone say in the chat says refrigerator yes definitely every damn thing is a thing uh, say you know also in healthcare sectors you know definitely we are going through a trying time of covid you know uh, a lot of worst things happening specifically you know uh, in my, in my circle few of my friends really going through a bad uh, journey and i'm sure a lot of you might also have faced uh, a lot of things you might have lost few dear ones also but but iot can also save uh, you know uh, can add value in the healthcare sector you know where we we can understand what what's happening uh, with the patient what's internally happening and all those things now uh, we can uh, make our home smart we can connect it can be internet of houses or internet of homes or which is smart homes basically or we can basically connect industries which is the which is basically industry 4.0 which is my specialization and uh, you know that's where a lot of uh, great stuff is happening and with that's where a lot of money is also okay all right so let's play a game uh, you know i've i've been telling a lot of things now in the chat i want everyone okay to drop a name okay you'll drop a name in the chat and i will basically tell you a uh, use case around that thing okay uh, if you are not able to understand let me pick the first uh, uh, pick the first uh, thing let's say this water bottle okay uh, this water bottle is like is a thing obviously right now firstly uh, let's say what is the data that we can collect uh, uh, from these things uh i someone says uh, uh, whose name i want you to name anything you know uh, we, let's play name place thing animal okay anything that you can uh, think of that you see around you please drop it in the chat and i'll build a use case i'll i'll not go through each and every one but basically few okay so let's get started with this water bottle okay take this water bottle what is the data that we can get from this water bottle one is how much water is in this bottle okay what is the temperature of the water is it drinkable is it uh, you know what is the ph value of this water what water in the water bottle uh, you know all those parameters okay this is the amount of data that we can get only out of this water bottle now let's say <clears throat> uh, this water bottle we connect 
we we do some abracadabra some magic you know and we start getting information about it uh, out of it now what will we do with that information we will be able to uh, take some decisions say let's say the ph value of this water bottle water in this water bottle is uh, you know very uh, not optimal for uh, for drinking then what we will do is we will uh, maybe purify this water maybe do something which we wouldn't definitely uh, know by ourselves by by you know uh, by just looking at the water or something like that right so we we will be able to uh, get you know get that data precise data and we will be able to get some uh, uh, you know take some uh, get some insights that this water is this way this water is this way this water is consume worthy this water is not consume worthy and all these things and then uh, we take some action on this water that we either purify it or something like that right so this is what we do with a thing okay any internet of thing uh, 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 implementation even as a small as a bottle or as big as industry this is what we are doing that's it that is it nothing more than that okay so this is as simple as that uh, you know this is very uh, simple to listen to but what exactly is happening in the behind okay let's first play our game <clears throat> uh let me pick uh, one good uh, okay one interesting thing i see in the chat is bed okay bed now how can we connect bed is a thing okay now if we let's say you every day go back to the sleep go back to sleep sleep on that bed wake up and you are able to get say example uh, for example your uh, daily body scan report okay how you are doing what is your health uh, status and all these things how is this happening okay we have few sensors also it monitors uh, what is your sleep <clears throat> how has been your sleep last night i'm really sorry guys <clears throat> let's say uh let's say uh we have uh no no i definitely i'm not affected by corona no as of now by god's grace i'm not i'm not affected uh so we we have a bed we are every day going back to sleep on that we we sleep on it you know it takes few uh vitals of our uh, uh you know from us like you know what is your rem what is your uh how are you how well are you sleeping when often uh, what time do you suddenly wake up in uh, in 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 middle of night you know let's say to go washroom or uh, what kind of uh, 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 what is your uh, any any health parameter for that matter okay so you are able to uh, basically monitor these things now from that you are getting that data you are pushing it to uh some you know processing unit where the whole uh processing happens and uh, let's say your doctor is looking at this data okay now suddenly you you think of going to office you <clears throat> let's say you know it's not locked down you uh think of going to hospital and suddenly someone uh some doctor your your doctor calls you up and says you know there is something really wrong with your uh blood pressure level and i need really need to check it up can you please uh can you please come to my hospital right away okay and you go there you get yourself scanned and you are saved right because i've seen you know uh literally you know i know a brother of uh, a very close brother uh was very fit and fine uh, very doing very well and uh, suddenly morning 9 o'clock he went to his shop opened his shop did everything and by 1 o'clock in the afternoon he's no more you know things are very uncertain with life especially after after covid we have realized it very well in that case such things are real 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 boon for us right isn't that so so uh so all these things are 
kind of uh, you know the things that we will be able to build with iot right now going one step deeper into this <clears throat> how is this whole stuff working let's understand okay i'm giving you fancy examples i can go on and on with fancy examples you can listen to my podcast and uh, you know my wherever i have given interviews i have been called for a lot of interviews and there i've also i've shared also on scenes by avalon is where uh, i keep coming often uh, i do uh, you know uh, uh, sessions often and even there you can come in and listen to all the stories but we are not here for that right now uh how is this whole stuff working let's <clears throat> break down things okay so we have things again you know the regular things let's say a dustbin okay a dustbin is the remotest thing that anyone would uh, think about it right a uh, lot of great examples uh, dropping in the chat uh, from manasi from mukesh from uh, sai pavan babu and all these people really great examples <coughs> i'll go through them uh, later but you know chat is very dry you know it it very dis it distracts me very much let me close the chat okay i've closed the chat now for some time let me go through the concept okay so things what are these things okay anything now we have defined our things okay now what are these things doing they are generating data for us okay what kind of data you know uh, let's say uh, our bed our bed uh, or dustbin okay dustbin is one very good example that i uh, give keep giving okay dustbin what is the uh, amount of information th th there is a humongous amount of information in dustbin which nobody cares about okay let's say you uh, you are in a city and you go and scan each and every dustbin whatever the wraps that are there in the dustbin what kind of uh, chips packet uh, what kind of uh, shampoo uh, that people are using you'll get the whole you know like if a company goes and uh, analyzes the dustbins of each and every area they'll be able to understand what kind of customers are they uh, do they have there in that area okay that can be one of the greatest market research and there is a company in hyderabad which is actually doing this thing what they do is they go to each and every area uh, they collect the uh, dustbins they also have that smart dustbins where you know if the dustbins are full they'll get to know that and all those things and they'll get that trash to their place and they scan the whole trash and uh, with the, with with the machine learning learning algorithms and also with the computer vision they are able to scan this whole things and uh, they they are now able to get the information <clears throat> they always you know they they first in the in the first place they send this uh, uh, you know trash that they have collected they segregate it and they you know make money out of it by recycling it also they make money uh, by say you know by this information they start they have started selling this information to people uh, to to companies like say you know uh, some uh, if if there is a fmcg company which produces the soaps uh, shampoos and all these things they will be able to understand which area is using which kind of brand and uh, they can go to their competitor and uh, you know sell them this information that you know this area you don't have you don't have products being sold better take a look at it and they'll be able to get that but that, how is this happening so these things our dustbins are generating data from that data we we'll look at that data we process that data and uh, we get some insights that say for example uh, this water bottle the, the water in this water bottle if the if this is the thing the water is our thing or the water bottle is our thing the water is drink worthy or it is not drink worthy how can we say that we have a lot of uh, factors to say that uh, you know a lot of factors the temperature the the uh, um, the ph value of the water you know the let's say uh, the solvents in the water and all those things right but essentially it gives one single statement this water is drink worthy you can drink it so that that those are the decisions that we are taking that those are the insights that we get and based on that we take some decisions that i can drink this water okay and based on that decisions we take actions i am drinking the water that is the action simple thing but let's apply the same thing for a industry okay let's say we have a, a manufacturing industry okay where we have uh, a whole plant connected to uh 
a plant connected to internet not internet basically but each and every machine of them are connected interconnected and they are talking to each other how are they talking to each other they are sharing information between each other let's say you all of you have seen that uh, mega factories giga factories on national geographic channel right so <clears throat> let me look at take a look at uh, chat i am now getting fomo of you know if i am missing out on something in the chat great nothing oops all right so uh, let's say let's take a example of uh, of uh, a, a factory where we have machines all right so you have all seen that uh, seen that uh, national geographic channel where you you see uh, mega factories giga factories kind of shows you see how these things are being manufactured or if any of you have already visited or if few of you are already working in such environments so you you know how these things are right let's say uh, you know a biscuit is being manufactured you know uh, uh, first uh, bourbon biscuit okay the the first layer biscuit comes uh, some chocolate is being laid on that the other layer biscuit comes on top of that you know it gets uh, placed into a section and then uh, uh, a wrap is uh, uh, put around it and then all these uh, biscuit packets together are put in a box and you know the so on and so forth so let's say the whole system is running perfectly fine and suddenly a conveyor belt in between the motor of that conveyor belt stops okay it this thing is happening at a rapid speed you have seen how uh, rapid ra rapidly these things are happening the motor of that uh, conveyor belt uh, stops working and uh, this conveyor belt is uh, not pushing the things aside the things start start clogging here the the you know the biscuits uh, the the cream is not uh, the i mean the remaining uh, machines all have to stop and they do they can't work right so the whole this is how the whole thing might be but let's say if we are able to predict that this machine can go down let's say by to today evening and we give this information to the site supervisor or the you know factory manager or whoever it is <clears throat> how huge of a saving is that not only you know in this in this process not only the machine is stopping the workers are getting affected because they have to stop their work the the transport people who have to the logistics department who have to take these things around let's say they this ma uh, factory is in some uh, you know active area where the police allows this uh, vehicles to go only after say between uh, 10 pm to 4 am right or 12 pm to 4 am okay and this has stopped at somewhere 3 am and uh, they don't know what to do they don't know how to load things and all right so the machine, uh, the, the vehicle has to wait for the whole next day and there's a huge loss that they are there incurring. Now, if we connect this motor, okay, this one single motor is causing all this problem, right? So if we connect this motor to, let's say, uh, like if this motor is our thing, we are generating data out of it, like it's vibration, it's, uh, you know, what, uh, what is its RPM, what is its uh, kind of temperature, and uh, a lot of different uh, values okay now if we track these values we will be able to we, we are getting the data okay which is this part which is this part okay our th motor is our thing we are getting data and from that data we'll be getting some insights that you know this vibration is very high suddenly i don't know why okay it's, for some reason the vibration is really high it's going high the machine learning you know the, we have set up a machine learning and which looks at that data and says okay there is something really abnormal uh, let's start looking at this data then the machine learning algorithm starts looking at it very peculiarly and uh, it understands that you know if this way this uh, data this vibration is really going abnormal and then it quickly also looks at the master data which is you know the actual some uh, you know the, the data sheet uh, from the manufacturing the manufacturer of this motor which says if the vibration goes above this value the motor might go wrong there might be something wrong so we are able to predict that uh, this machine will go wrong there's something is going wrong in the uh, machine and then we take some uh, we take a decision that you know we need to have a uh, we have a we need to stop this 
we have to quickly switch uh, the motor and then we can start uh, you know doing our action again our work again so so this is how this so any you know i've connected a small water bottle and a big industry within this framework so keep this framework in your mind okay always and uh, this uh, framework is usually you know given out by microsoft that's how they uh, in their reference architecture they divide these things into things insights and actions so i took it from there so this is the reference architecture of microsoft okay all right now just a quick analogy okay how does your human body work okay we have five different sensory organs we have hand we have uh, uh, sorry what am i saying uh, we have eyes we have ears we have nose uh, we have tongue uh, which is uh, uh, which tastes and which uh, we have touch which which with which we can touch okay and just a fun fact here that you know if you observe we humans are trying to replicate all these five sensory organs okay the five sensory organs that we have we are trying to replicate each and every of this five sensory organ but we still were are not able to you know replicate these two which is taste and smell if you say vision our cameras are our visions okay if you say hearing this mic is kind of a ear okay if you say touch all our touch screens and you know all these things are is a touch but these two things you know are really a peculiar thing the it's very very hard because of the amount of complexity that's involved in our nose and our taste it's it's a huge science if you want to know more about it if you are from a medical background or if you in general want to know more about it you can listen to one of the podcasts where i had a scientist from uh, uh, you know uh, from austin university i guess uh, uh, he, johannes his name is johannes and he is working on this sensor he is building basically building a electronic nose he if he is listening to it he will basically he will literally kill me because he don't like it being called electronic nose there is another term for that but let's say for simplicity he is ba basically building a electronic nose okay <clears throat> okay coming back to our topic so we have all these sensory organs and uh, it is they are constantly taking information my eyes are looking at this presentations my setup my whole thing and uh, you know it it is quickly sending information and uh, according to also i'm parallel looking at the chat and i have to take decisions i'm constantly making a lot of decisions okay so all this information is being routed to my brain okay how is it being routed it is being routed through all our nerves and all these things right and then from there uh, it 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 is being pushed to our brain okay and from br our brain we are taking decisions and uh, we do some action correct correct how many of you uh, let me look at the chat quickly now how many of you uh, are aware, aware of this fact of how your how your uh, body works basically uh where is this okay one quick second uh, i am setting up my layouts here all right fine so a lot of you in the chat saying you know it's <clears throat> you already know how it works okay uh so this is how our body works exactly similarly exactly similarly is how iot any kind of iot implementation work okay exactly similar right so now we'll go deep a little deep into the technical subject grab your coffee and we'll go a little deep into the technical subject all right so there is something called as so this is a three layered architecture of iot where we this is you know this is a technical thing now uh, listen to it very carefully okay there are, there are two types of iot architectures basically one is three layered architecture and one is five layered architecture three layered is much simpler one and uh, you know it serves the purpose so let's take a look at three layer we'll also take a look at five layered also now 
in in the three layered architecture there are basically three layers of iot okay iot is divided into three different layers the fundamental layer layer is perception layer okay the perception layer is where you know where we try and understand where we perceive things where we interact with the outer world and get the information okay and that's what is perception layer okay now few examples how do we how like we humans have these five senses but uh, uh, in in for uh, anything to make uh, to be able to perceive the outer world we have to connect some sensors we have to connect some electronics to it so that it can do that job for us right so that's all this thing that we do with that thing around that thing you know some equipment building up some equipment how they you know, work with each other that all this thing falls under perception layer right now with the, from the see from top we are going from bottom to top and that's how the data flows okay uh, the data flows in iot system that's this is how the data is flowing okay from perception layer it is going to network layer okay network layer is if you can relate with uh, how our body is working our nerves which are carrying the information right so what are the uh, examples our wifi which is you know let's say this bottle is connected this bottle we have put some abracadabra we have put some electronics and all these things you learn those things abra you learn this abracadabra eventually but uh, we have done something with this and uh, we have connected it to say you know we have added some electronics and this is now connected uh, uh device okay these are connected smart bottle but what is this connectivity uh, layering oh we have wi-fi we have bluetooth we have something called as lora and there is this new protocol keep a keep an eye on this guys this is this is soon going to revolutionize the whole uh, space the whole uh, thread uh, the, the thread group is a new thing if you haven't heard of it again go back to my podcast that's where you know guys my podcast you must listen to it if you are interested in iot because i i share a human i bring in like literally this thread groups <clears throat> uh, one of the board of directors of this thread group was on my podcast to to talk to you about what is thread group but you know what hardly few people listen to it daily i mean often regularly but uh, you should consider because because you are trying to get into the space this is going to be going to be the future how many of you know uh, uh, the new version of android is launched in the chat how many of you know which uh, what is the new version of the android and when was it launched uh, guys if you even don't know this then i'm sorry in the chat how many people do we have by the way good good number of people yeah yes android 12 right so android 12 was recently launched may 18th 19 20 we had google io and we had android uh, 12 which was launched which has awesome amount of uh, uh, you know features that are coming up the whole ui is changing a uh, lot of great things but similarly you also have to keep a eye on you know uh, these updates that are happening in this iot world and that's where you listen to, uh, you you can come on to my podcast and listen to it uh, you know the best thing about podcast is you just have to plug in and uh, you can go for a walk you can uh, not now in the covid times but you can do your regular work you can do you know your assignments college assignments anything for that matter or even if you are doing your office work you can just plug in and listen to it and uh, parallel do work right that's why i'm doing podcast not youtube okay all right so thread group keep an eye on it uh, no more about it <clears throat> right so the next layer is application layer so this thing is being sent out but this data has to be processed uh, take uh, we have to take some decisions we have to do something right and that's uh, and also we have to portray this information let's say you know all this data now you are i am talking to you through this mic i am streaming through this my uh, camera Uh, all this data is going into bits and pieces like you know through my wifi router it's going coming to each and every one of your home how is this happening you know we this is because of the application layer that that is happening okay and you are able to see it i am presenting from here i am using a uh, say let's say a browser i am using youtube which is a application 
and again you are again watching from the same uh, thing which is also a device or a you know a, a layer where you are uh, taking the data so fundamentally in the perce perception layer we collect data network layer we route the data to its destination or uh, from you know from source to destination and then in applic in application layer we do the data formatting data presentation in browser in browser what are you seeing basically you are see what is what is uh, for those who don't know how internet uh, works you know you have a system okay let's say you are using uh, these uh, uh, files like file share or something like that you are you are basic what are you doing you have connected your bluetooth or your wi-fi and you are transferring your photos from your phone to that to your friends okay your airdrop or all these things what are we doing we are transferring files from one place to another place right that's exactly what is happening with any website that you take there is some big system which is called some some uh, which is called a server and it is constantly it is uh, always alive not like your laptop which is which can turn off which you can turn off as you want which you got turn on as you want right so <clears throat> that's how we uh, that's how these servers are always alive and uh, that is basic but server is basically a system it is a computer okay and that has all the files of a website when you give that address you know https dot uh, instagram dot com okay it is going to that server which is where, where uh, that uh, you know no, that server is there the way the files are there it is going and fetching all the files that are according to you okay that you have requested for so that's what exactly happens in the application layer okay just uh background for those who do not know <clears throat> okay now there is something called as uh file layered architecture now this is an assignment because one we have one week long gap and i want i don't want you people to just relax for the next session go back read about it read each and everything about what am i sh sharing i'm just touching upon the basics i'm just uh, touching upon uh, the basic aspects i can't go in into the deeper aspects we can have further discussions in the in our community on our discord uh, channel but uh, you know we can't go much deeper so this is where you have to go back and read about it for for just for your purpose you know this is the file layer these are the file it introduced basically it replaces this uh, 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 you know the network layer is replaced by these two layers and application is, layer is basically replaced by these two layers okay the perception layer re remains as is but what is the uh, you know what what does this transport layer does what does this do what does this one do and what does this one do you go back and read about it you just type file layer iot architecture you will get uh, tons and tons of uh, blogs even if you go to my website there is a blog about it okay now we'll talk we we have been talking about this perception layer right now let's delve a li little deeper into this perception layer okay i now i've i've shared a lot of things it, they are little confusing and all right let's let's understand let's say i have if i said camera okay or a sensor any sensor your pir sensors what let's say you no know, any sensor for that matter right uh is a kind of a sensory organ right so what are these sensors what essentially is a sensor right sensor basically does does only one functionality okay it takes data from the outer world and it converts it into a digital format that exactly is it that's it nothing else than that okay sensor just does this it takes data from the outer world from physical world like say let's say heat in this room okay i'm really sweating let me wipe out i'm not sweating because it was i'm sweating because this room doesn't have any good ventilation that's the problem okay so we have sensors where uh, it connects the outer data like heat what is the amount of heat in that room in this room okay it pulls that data and uh, it gives it uh, gives that data to you in a digital format so that you can read it that's all sensor is doing uh, th these are different kinds of sensors that we have in market uh, this one is a smoke sensor which you know detects if there is any smoke this is not actually a sensor okay i grab these images from google please don't blame me uh, let me see 
a lot of different sensors here this uh temperature this uh both these you know are dst sensors which sense the atmosphere also by the way in our equipment list if you see there is something called as ultrasonic sensor right so that exactly monitors uh, that uh, that can give you the distance between any two things okay it you can basically calculate distance from one place to another place okay without you know having to use a scale or measure something okay what are the applications of that let's say uh, you have you have car reverse you when you take car reverse there is a sensor behind right which detects exactly the obstacle detecting it detects the obstacle like if the distance is very less it means that the the obstacle is very close so you it starts beeping you know it says you know something is behind you might crash your car so that's how sensors are it what is it doing it is just checking how far the distance how far that uh, particular uh, obstacle is okay so that's all it is doing all right so that's all uh, uh, this uh, sensors can do uh, there are different uh, kinds of sensor which can measure temperature, pressure, air quality, speed, etc. and etc. and etc. and etc. Actuators. Okay. Actuators are opposite to sensors. Okay. What sensors do? They take information from outer world and they convert it into a digital format. Actuators do the opposite way. Let's say a speaker. What does it do? It takes data from inside and it makes into a physical noise. You know that with to the physical world okay that's how we are able to get the sounds so act uh, the our uh, so it basically gets the it converts the digital data into a physical data uh, examples for that are you know a motor or a led bulb or a speaker or a you know display that's display or uh, my monitor display or anything for that matter okay so these are the actuators i'm quickly running you through because we are all almost over the time <clears throat> and between both these two things we have a processing thing okay, the whole thing which is processing the whole thing right now just uh, just understand these things now tomorrow once you get your esp32 which uh, i asked you to procure because uh, for to do our projects you'll be we'll look at each and everything in that uh, uh, module that particular module consists almost everything it consists of sensors and it also consists uh, processing unit and it also consists the networking layer where you know so that chip why i'm why i asked you to do that is all these things uh, all these uh, equipment all this different equipment you need not to connect i mean definitely there we have to connect few things but uh, it is a kind of complete packaged thing into a one uh, one small chip it is it will be as small as this one let me show you my uh, esp32 so esp32 is this one okay this is ESP32. Okay. I will also show you two other equipment. Uh, let me switch my camera. Man, where is this OBS? Right. Perfect. So okay so this is called as Arduino. okay this is also one kind of another kit this is uh, uh esp32 which is also a kind of another kit uh there is something called as raspberry pi which is very powerful this e this alone is a computer by itself okay you can connect uh, uh you can connect uh, your LAN cable or Wi-Fi to it and you can connect your mouse, keyboard and you also have HDMI cable to this. You can connect a monitor and this this small thing, this is as small as you know, my hand. Okay. So, oh, you are saying it in blue color because actually this is uh, green color but uh, because my background is blue and uh, my background, I have a green screen here. This is basically, you know, taking it through but th that is basically green in color. Okay. For those who do not know already uh so this particular thing is very powerful uh you know and it costs hardly some four thousand or five thousand rupees uh there are a lot of other sensors that i have so this sensor is a gps sensor okay this is a gps module which uh can you know basically get your longitude and like lat latitude location okay and uh what all what else do i have so this is a motor 
okay and this is a motor this is an actuator what is this this is an actuator because it takes information from with these wires and it can it rotates accordingly what else do i have i i have a lot of kit so with both so i have these many equipment this is not this is only one box huh? i have three different boxes like this i am very passionate about it so i i have it okay so where did i put my esp32 anyways so uh that's what is about it let's switch back to our presentation mode okay So these are the processing units so all these you know process the information and uh, they store the data they do decision making factors and all these things all right so that's all up for today but before we leave let's do a fun thing very fun thing right uh, uh, how many of you are interested for this how many of you are interested in the chat let's do a fun session i will basically tell you now i i asked you to drop a uh, thing in the chat i took bed i never thought about it uh, th thought about bed in the first place uh, i never thought uh, to build a use case around bed but impromptu i came up with an idea of uh, what you can do with bed right how did i do that i will share the exact framework my exact uh, se uh, secrets uh, secret dish how i prepare that how i come up with that with you guys right away right away okay and uh, in return you'll have to do an assignment for me okay see guys i'm pre pretty serious about this assignment i'm i am investing my time my energy into this so, you know despite having a full time job and everything we are doing free of cost and everything so i only thing i want you to do is follow these things consistently please be active on our discord server uh you know i'm sure from today you will be active because earlier you didn't have any topic to discuss from now you will have a lot of topics to discuss okay so <clears throat> this is my secret sauce okay how do you come up with the brainstorming okay how do you how do you basically come up with ideas okay just five steps okay five steps ha huh, strict teacher i am very strict teacher assignment karna hi padega नहीं तो नहीं चलेगा ओके और राइट आई विल क्लोज द चैट बिकॉज आई गेट डिवेटेड फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट आई एम सॉरी लेट मी हैव सम मोर व्हाट विल यू आइडेंटिफाई यू विल हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट लेट्स से वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम For for those who you know uh, always uh, uh, yeah recently I put I commented uh, on uh, Shrey Sharma's post on LinkedIn uh, you know Shrey Sharma said uh, you know lot of people lot of students even when I was back in college I I was known for projects I I I always have this project new project ideas every day okay every <clears throat> but I never share with Uh, share it with everyone uh, anyone for that matter because i am not selfish because but because i want people to be innovative okay when you have any project that you want to do anything that you want to do just <clears throat> do the thing that you are just just you know get into the flow state where uh, you are very your mind is very active okay i get that when i am listening to music or when i am you know sitting on a window seat when i am traveling or when i am you know in the washroom that's how i get ideas so uh <clears throat> while having bath or something like that i keep getting ideas in the bathroom i don't know why uh so when first go to that place okay and then think about the think about your whole day the problems that you have been facing okay for the whole day just think about it okay go into that flow state uh, somebody get uh, that flow state when you are you know working on something when you are doing something when you are let, let's say coding or when you are say you know playing games anything for that matter go into that state okay when your mind is hyperactive and you can think about things like anything 
go into that state and then think about a problem <clears throat> that you are facing let's say our problem is a lot of covid patients are suffering like hell okay and we want to help them this is our problem but define your problem statement exactly there are a lot of problems that covid patients are facing uh, you know uh, medicines or uh, you know let's say uh, oxygen shortage and all these things let's pick one statement out of this okay one statement is like we want to solve the oxygen shortage issue this is only happening because of the mismatch of information right and uh, we want to solve this problem so this is our problem statement we want to help uh, people to identify where the oxygen cylinders are this is our problem statement this is how you have to precisely state your problem okay precisely we want to solve this thing that's it not you know a uh, 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 general term like you know i want to help covid people uh, people are suffering from covid and all those things right a specific statement uh, let me also keep looking at the chat because if if uh, if you are not understanding it <clears throat> uh, i'll be able to reiterate this great so you you have this uh, problem statement precisely okay now once you have this pro problem uh, you identify the things in that system okay this is the iot bra idea brainstorming uh, framework let's put it a name i i b f iot idea brainstorming framework okay i i b f let me let me name it so this is the guys this you will not find anywhere this is what i have built okay so uh this is how i use it this is how i do it okay so you have you define that problem statement precisely and then uh work on that identify the things in that now in our problem what what are the things oxygen cylinders are the things okay now once you have that thing you if you once you have identified the thing second question is done okay first thing is problem statement second thing is uh, identify the things our thing is also identified which is a, a oxygen cylinder third let's say what kind of data can we get what kind of data we need from this oxygen cylinder one if the oxygen cylinder is full or empty second where is this oxygen cylinder located so how do we get that the gps location of that oxygen cylinder is full or empty we we have to figure out now there there might be some sensors which can sense that okay based on the pressure of that uh, uh, oxygen cylinder we will be able to uh, uh, understand it okay third uh, what kind of data do we uh, get uh, sorry uh, what what other data do we need uh, we might need uh, let's say uh if it's for, if it is being used by someone and do do they have a use or not right so uh, uh do are they using it or not so if it is occupied or not so okay that is the third location <clears throat> so what are the parameters that we are collecting one is the quant the the how much oxygen is located in that the second thing is uh, the location where is where is that oxygen cylinder and third thing is if if it is being used by someone okay now we have three these three sensors attached to our oxygen cylinder okay then you why but guys at this stage don't think about these sensors i don't know which sensor to use and all those things just apply this framework as it is so what are the three data points that we are collecting if it is occupied if it is uh, you know uh, if it is if it is full or not if it is uh, what was the third one i forgot what is the location of it where is it okay now if we collect these three parameters what is the insight that we can get out of it let's say the oxygen cylinder is full the uh, it is not being used by someone and it is let's say in uh, in hyderabad at this particular location so we exactly know that this oxygen cylinder is free nobody is using we can go and grab it right exactly th this is how this is the insight that we can generate out of it and what is the ac or action that we can do let's say we can build a app or something like that where people can book you know which is taking action and people can get that oxygen cylinder from there right 
right away i have built an idea for you take it out somebody build it make a startup out of it not only the oxygen cylinder any medical equipment because this is always a problem not only now but uh, you know shortage of medical things is always a problem how can you track those different devices put it on app make a startup out of it go take it away you can do it right so this is how you can use any framework see from question number one to question number five we are already ready with the idea awesome idea right so apply this framework so here is the assignment okay i am i've seen i'm seeing a lot of questions i'll answer in the uh, i'll answer quickly but uh, please, people please uh, see if you can uh, save these questions uh, for our discord server because i can't uh, answer these here right <clears throat> okay so from idea, question number 1 to question number 5 we have already we are already ready with the uh, uh, we, we are already ready with our idea so how do you apply this idea and all these things we we'll learn from in the next uh, remaining four sessions how do you build things out of it but in this session the assignment is find out one thing one problem <clears throat> that you have been facing from a long time or you any problem for that matter okay and apply this framework and come up with idea will you do that guys for me this is our assignment okay but not this way not you know uh, you, you can't come back and tell me that you know brain idea is in my brain i can't show you you have to document this one okay take take a screenshot of this five ideas or you can come back to and watch this video later also this will be saved so you come back to this and watch these five questions okay and question this framework uh, i mean this five questions is a framework okay watch these five questions apply it to your problem and come up with the document okay <clears throat> prepare a one you know i i don't want you to make documentation of pages of pages one single paper okay one paper first question first question uh, identify problem statement under that write what is your problem statement precisely okay precisely i want to do this thing exactly problem statement huh? this is very important if you make it very vague you will not be able to understand okay exactly define that problem and then answer the second question and then answer the third fourth and fifth by the fifth by you end fifth uh, thing uh, you will be able to understand all the things okay you will be able to come up with idea okay so that's how things are now go back take a screenshot of it or take a picture of these questions uh, go back and uh, work on this i want each one of you to come up with three okay three such problems and uh, work on these things and so three different papers three different pages of document or you can share we'll put on the discord uh, how you have to share this assignment with us so there are two assignments one is for yourself go read about file layer architecture of iot and second assignment is this one which you have to submit to us okay so let's see on the other side uh, is that it do we have anything else yes the most important thing guys also <clears throat> follow through this uh, instructions i will also quickly show you uh, but before we go there i see someone people in the people uh, can, can moderators please answer the questions in the chat please a lot of questions uh j vignesh if you are already part of our community you will know where to submit these things okay all right so <clears throat> setting up the software workspace so we have to start working on you know start getting our hands dirty from the next session so how do you set up your lap or your laptop or your desktop or anything for that matter to be ready to start working on this project okay first head on to ordino.cc which is ordino website which which is the id which we will be using to basically let me switch the mode uh this one okay so you will go here Okay, this is the website that you have to go to <clears throat> and uh, 
where is this downloads yep software okay and come here scroll down Ooh, yep and down if you are if it's uh mac os download that one or uh, windows os then download this one or whichever okay download it install it i'll not show you how to download install and all these things because you people are smart i'm assuming your people are smart i'm pretty sure your people people are smart because you are learning iot okay huh. so you download this once you download it you will be seeing something like this it will load up this way hmm. it will open up like this don't don't look at anything don't overwhelm yourself if you are scared at coding just go to tools okay so the second step let's look at it are yaar i have to switch again okay so second step what is the second step uh, first step is head down to this site second step is download ordino ido ide which is ide stands for integrated development environment and uh, third one is install and open it install it and open it then uh, go to files and preferences this here in the file and preferences okay then uh, i'll put this uh, url in the chat so you have to take that url and uh, save it uh, in your anywhere and you have to basically i also link it in the description don't worry uh, you have to put it here additional boards manager url oh sorry i am didn't switch to uh, this one right okay so you have to go to abhi yaar band ho jana so you have to go to file preferences this will open up you take this url <coughs> okay and paste it here in your browser okay uh, additional boards and manager urls you paste it here and uh, click on okay that's it okay now again let's go back to this one what is the next step so you have to and click on okay that's it okay i'll put this url in the description don't worry i'll also let me put it in the chat right away okay what does this url do this url this url this url basically you know uh, grabs few packages and all those things and sets it up for your uh, uh, ordino ordino is basically this ordino id is basically meant to be uh, used for ordino kits okay but we are we are now using esp32 kit because this is much more uh, advanced and uh, powerful okay so we are using this kit and the libraries of that will not be existing in this ordino id that's why you have to use this one you uh, you have to put this url in the additional boards manager uh, uh, additional boards uh, manager url section and click okay okay once you did that then uh, go to tools uh, in the board menu board uh, uh, board manager search for esp32 and install it okay let's do it i have already installed maybe uh yes i have definitely already installed abhi ya okay in the tools <coughs> here you see uh, where is this yep this one in the board this one right below wifi this option uh board you have to go to board manager okay and here you have to search for esp32 okay and you will see this it is already installed you will see the option to install it click on that install and it will install by itself once it is installed just close it and then again go to tools i don't know why this is behaving weird okay and in the boards manager you you will see a lot of uh, options you go to esp32 ordino and select esp32 dev module okay esp32 dev module that's it you do that work uh, and keep it like that okay 
Oops, I was not sharing my screen. Okay. Okay, you have to go to uh, ESP. Now, are you able to see my screen? Okay, I hope so. ESP32 dev module. So basically, you have to go to board, board manager, and search for ESP32 here. God, why is it not working? ESP32 search. You'll see this one. Click on install. It will install. Once it is installed, close it. Then go to tools again and board. Uh, you know, and in board, you'll see this new option added after you install that. Click on that ESP32 Arduino and select ESP32 dev module. Okay. Once you click it, done. Okay. It will save your uh, options. Uh oh. Okay. 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 Now I got it. Why it is switching? I have. Don't worry, guys. I mean, just look at these instructions. Uh, I understood why it is uh, switching. But. Uh... That's basically it for today. Anything else? Let's see. Oh, I have a nice little quote for you. Okay. So IoT is not just another technology. Understand it. Okay. <clears throat> IoT is just a concept. Okay. It is an ecosystem of technologies, different technologies, like we have seen in, in our architecture, we have seen uh, hardware, we have, we have talked about software and all these things, right? So these are all different softwares that are working together to solve one simple problem. And that problem, you will be able to, you should come up with, uh, come up uh, by doing your assignment. Okay. So you have to do that assignment, come up with that problem problem statements and how we will uh, basically implement that and submit those assignments. So that is why learn IOT. It's magical guys. It's really magical. Having said that, uh, let me quickly look at the chat. Once again, if there are any questions which help me if I have missed out on anything. Hmm. So the questions. Is it clear guys uh, in the chat? Is, uh, is, it, uh, is it clear? Yes, we can use VS Code. Definitely we can use VS Code. But please use Arduino ID. Uh, let's not make it complex. Okay. <coughs> Uh, any other questions? When you search for ESP32, screen changes. Yes, the, the, the it was changing because I have I, uh, I did set some uh, shortcuts. That's why it was switching the camera. But uh, looking at that instructions, I hope you might have got it. All right. All right. With that, I'll end this for all the community members. Hop onto the community. Let's have if if. Uh, uh, Let's have a quick call right away. No, let's do it on Wednesday. But you can ask all your questions in the community now. Let's save it for the community. Ask tag uh, at the rate mentors. Uh, we we already do not have them, but uh, we'll create that uh, group as soon as possible. We'll create that role as soon as possible, and you'll be able to tag mentors and ask your questions, and they'll answer your questions. Make sure you ask it in the right channel. Okay. <coughs> Is that done? All right. I'll see you on 30th May. When? I will see you on 30th May. Okay. I will leave you some with some music.
uh, people people once one quick thing uh, i saw one interesting question in the chat how do we join the community okay so if you already registered go check your email okay search with my name sai prakash belkeri you will find an email maybe in the promotions or spam somewhere you find that email and follow the instructions in that email you will be able to join the community okay if not go to my instagram you'll find a i've i'll update the link in the bio you'll find a link in the bio uh you click on that link register for yourself or go to belkiot.in slash bootcamp okay register for the waitlist uh now we have stopped the registrations register for the waitlist once it is ready once uh, we open the next slot we'll let you know okay that's that was the announcement that i wanted to give again let's listen to the music Thank you. 